Hi, welcome to the demonstration of the user side of furniture shopping. This is an innovative system that allows the user to shop furnitures online. The system reduces the time and expenses bringing the whole shopping process online. The backend used here is a SQL Server database which is on the server communicating with the Android application in the real time. The user is allowed to search the products based on the categories and can filter the items on the basis of their price or names in their increasing or decreasing order. The system includes an innovative floating cart that is available on each page which pops up without leaving the current page. Here once a user is logged in, he is remembered until he logs out. Let's see how it works. So this is the home page. Since uh, the user has already logged in, the loading dialog exits when the contents of the home page is loaded. So since all the items have loaded, the dialog is cancelled here. So we have uh, categories here, uh, tables, wardrobe, dining, etc. There are uh, five items of each categories in the home page. We have used the horizontal scroll view for each uh, categories here. Uh, the more button and the arrow depicts the same action. It uh, goes to the category page for uh, uh, let's uh, click on tables. So it will go to the tables page now as all the contents have loaded uh, each page has nine items to show uh, if it exceeds nine items the navigation below at the end of the page is enabled so if I press the next button it will go to the next page likewise back to the previous page so if I click on any product the product details page will open uh, it will have all the product details uh, with the four images so if you click on each image you can see the image bigger uh, these are all the description or details about the table so we have used a navigation drawer for easy navigation between pages so we can uh, click on any category as well for example let's click on dining since there are only four items under dining so the navigation icons below are disabled so if you click on any item so you can see the all the pictures and the item details as you can see a cart logo or a button at the top right so if you click on that you will see a floating cart that pops up so we as we already have uh, uh, item in a cart so if you click on the delete it will be deleted and it will show no items are there in the cart so let's see the my profile module it will show all the details of uh, the user and likewise uh, you can update the address and the contact details uh, this is the my order module the here you can see all the items that the user have already ordered and you can see the status of the order and the other details such as order ID the date and the items you can click on cart so since there is uh, no items in the cart uh, it will show you a message saying no items in the cart uh, let's add a product let's click on sofa let's click on any sofa and uh, let's say we want to quantity and add to cart so as you click on add to cart the floating cart automatically pops up so if you click on proceed uh, it will redirect you to the cart page and likewise if you continue uh, it will go to the payment page at where you will have an option of uh, the payment method uh, whether it is cash on delivery or debit or credit card so if you click on the card option uh, you have to enter uh, the card number the validity and the CVV let's go back 
and uh, let's see the category module uh, let's click on filter here so as you can see there are uh, two filters name and price by default the name is in the ascending order and um, if you don't click on any filter options uh, in 10 seconds the filter menu will be disabled or it will get invisible so let's click it again so let's do it in the descending order so as you can see it started with A it has gone to the last page now the first item uh, likewise uh, same way with the price Let's add another product. So now you can see we have two items. Let's say proceed and let's um, make a payment of it. Let's say we enter credit card. So all the credit card details have uh, their validations. So the transaction was successful and it redirects back to the home page. Uh, let's see the high orders page and uh, you can see the fresh order that we just made. It is here. Uh, the status says it is submitted. So if the admin sees and it will he will change the status as required let's uh, log out so this is the login page and uh, this is the register page so uh, since the user has uh, logged out so if you click on shopping furniture shopping again it will directly open the login page so then you have to enter your credentials and then sign in so let's uh, see the admin module we'll enter the admin details and uh, this is our admin panel where you get the options to add products, update the orders, view order details, view products, view users and so let's see the add product uh, module. Here you need to add the details uh, or add the values uh, for a particular furniture. So you need to enter the name. So let's say and XYZ uh, bed is being added its uh, price is about uh, 24,000 and we'll put it into the category of bed and we'll select the image uh, so first image second image uh, the third one and the fourth one so you need to upload uh, four images and next uh, we'll enter the description for that particular furniture so you can just enter the details of the furniture and you can just click on submit that will add the product into the database and it will be available for the users and you can see that the product ID has been updated or it has been incremented and you can add it another furnitures in this particular categories so let's see an update order module so here we have uh, order details or the orders which has been placed by the user and you can see that there are order status so if we click on uh, view details you will be shown the details of that particular order and from there you can change the status and if any order has been delivered like this order which has been delivered it won't be shown in uh, update orders so let's click on view details and you will get the details of uh, 
the goods uh, purchased by the user, its quantity and the price. Uh, you can update status as seen or a placed, dispatched or delivered. So if I select dispatch and I click on update, its status would be updated to dispatch and this order or, the, or this status would be shown to the user as well in its mobile application. So let's update the status for uh, one more order. We'll say dispatch and we'll say update and this is how this module works let's uh, see the view orders here you can see that uh, it shows all the details of uh, a particular order so you can check its uh, status email id date total amount and the details of the goods which is purchased by that user so the details price and the quantity same way for others. Its price and the quantity. So let's see the view product module. It's a view product. You can see that uh, we have the products. Its product ID, name price category and the description so next we have is the view user module here you can see the details of uh, user uh, you can see its uh, email id name phone number address city and the pin code of that particular user so you can uh, contact him if, if any order has been misplaced or address or anything has been entered wrong you can just email him or you can contact him and get the details right so this is the admin path.